This is 7 News Today in New England. First at 5, get comfortable. We're in storm force coverage, a powerful nor'easter bringing snow, wind, and rain. You're taking live pictures here in Fitchburg. We can see the snow is already piling up. And there are concerns about slippery roads this morning. We are live out there tracking your commute. But let's take you live to Boston here in the city where it's a tale of two storms, just rain pouring down right now in the hub. That strong system is expected to pack a punch. Many districts canceling school today. Thank you for joining us. I'm Brandon Gano. And I'm Amanda Crawford. Governor Healy has directed all non-emergency state employees to work from home, and we're already seeing some power outages out there as well. MassDOT crews are out clearing the roads, and our crews are covering conditions all around the region. Team 7 coverage begins this morning with Chief Meteorologist Jeremy Reiner. All right, we do have the winter storm warning in effect for the city of Boston back toward Worcester as well as Nashua, southeastern Massachusetts. It's a winter weather advisory, still primarily concerned about travel disruption and power outage because of the heavy, wet nature of the snow. And there could be some damaging wind at the coastline at times through the day. Snowfall reports, again, it's 5 a.m., so some folks are just now waking up. This is fresh right here. Look at this, Princeton. Nearly nine inches of snow. Ashby, that was just after midnight, four inches. Worcester at the airport, 2.2. But it's actually raining right now in Worcester. You notice Worcester, 35. Fitchburg at 34 with the snow. Nashville, 32. Bedford and Boston, like we anticipated, it is rain. Doppler radar showing the rain for much of the region in the lower elevations. And you do notice even southern Worcester County, including the city of Worcester itself, you do have rain. But the snow is not that far to the north. It's off to the north and the west. Here is the pocket of the rain in Metro Boston, some pockets of steady rain. But also the Doppler radar is detecting some melting snowflakes up in the clouds along with the raindrops. And there is that rain snow line, which is pretty much hanging out in the higher elevations of southern New England. And even as we look up into southern New Hampshire, Manchester, Keene, Jaffrey, snow, but out toward Portsmouth, it is rain and just plain old rain on the south coast as well as the south shore. So uh, nor'easter, it's here and it's with us for the next several hours, as is the rain for Metro Boston. So that was there's no change there. We do anticipate rain for several hours this morning. And then as we go through the morning hours, I think the rain snow line will begin to collapse toward the city late this morning, around 10, 11, more so around 11, 12 o'clock today. And we'll have that snow continuing this afternoon in the metro, as well as back into the Worcester Hills and even into western New England. And then it'll fizzle out later on tonight. No significant changes to the forecast. I would say, though, that because Worcester's raining now, I don't know if Worcester's going to get a foot of snow. I think it may be closer to, say, six to nine inches of snow in Worcester, with the jackpot still holding strong just to the northwest of the city. Metro Boston still thinking around three or four inches of snow by late today and more so this evening. For more on the storm, here's meteorologist Chris Lambert. JR, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Can't have a nor'easter without the northeast wind, and we have that northeast wind right now in Boston, 26 miles an hour, 15 but these are sustained winds. You take a look at some of these gusts rolling on in between about 25 and 35 miles an hour only to increase through the morning into the afternoon first across the Cape and the islands and then that's going to be spreading up the coastline as we go through the remainder of the day and you can see those winds peaking right there you know 55 60 miles an hour down across the Cape that's going to be later this morning spreads all the way up the south shore into Boston all the way through the north shore early this afternoon and across Cape Ann you may see some gusts in excess of 60 to 65 miles an hour this afternoon into this evening that wind is out of the north and once that happens this afternoon that wind goes from the northeast to the north. That's when you flip the switch over to snow across much of Metro West includes the city of Boston uh, in that and you continue to see some of these strong wind gusts through the early evening hours and even overnight tonight that backside of that storm system producing some gusty northwesterly wind. Highest impacts today will be through the Worcester Hills and the combination of the very heavy snow with some gusty winds likely to create some scatter to maybe even some pockets of numerous power outages out that way. I mean there's a lot of water content in this snow. No. So there's going to be a lot of weight on those trees and power lines and you add in a gusty wind and that's not going to be helping out at all. Now the wind is initially out of the northeast, goes to the north later today and northwest by tomorrow morning. Fortunately, this afternoon's high tide is astronomically low, so we're not expecting a lot of flooding during the afternoon high tide. Tomorrow morning's high tide around 5 a.m. Could get some pockets of minor coastal flooding, so we'll have to keep an eye on that for tomorrow morning, guys. 
All right, thanks, Chris. In Gardner, a different kind of March Madness this morning. The snow coming down fast and furious overnight. Worcester County is expected to get quite a bit of snow with this storm. Yeah, but as you said, Worcester County, so north of the city, that area could see more than a foot of snow. 7's Juliana Mazza is live in Fitchburg with what conditions look like there. Juliana, good morning. Brandon, Amanda, good morning. We are well on our way to a foot of snow. We are here in Fitchburg where it is coming down. On our way over, we were on Route 2 West, and that's where we sort of, sort of saw the rain snow line. You were having rain one second, and then within a matter of just a minute or so, the snow started coming down. I'm going to show you the roadways over here. Uh, we're just outside of downtown Fitchburg. We've been seeing the plows come by, but, I mean, you can see it's really hard to see the pavement here just because it's been coming down for quite some time now, especially, too, if you were on the highway. Route 2 West, it was tough off to get here. Uh, I mean, my photographer Brittany and I, we were going super slow just because you just didn't have uh, that much pavement on the ground. So it was just hard to make sure you had the traction there. And when you talk about, I mean, where we are in Fitchburg, this is one of those areas where we could have jackpot levels. I mean, we're talking 18 inches potentially. I have my uh, handy dandy measuring stick so we can just see what we've got so far. Uh, this is an untouched area, so I'm just going to drop it right in. And we're, it looks like, you know, a little more than four inches right now on our, on our way to five. And, you know, I was talking to Chris Lambert this morning and something that he mentioned too, which I think is important to know when you're in Fitchburg, right? The amount of snow that you're going to see really depends on what part of the town you live in. The closer you are to the Ashby line, that higher elevation area in Fitchburg, you're probably going to get some more snow. So we're monitoring the conditions here in Fitchburg. But as you can see, guys, we don't have rain. That snow is coming down. Live in Fitchburg, Juliana Mazza, 7 News, today in New England. All right, Tyler, it's time now for Fast Track Traffic. Here's Paul Sunny. Good morning. As you're heading out the door, luckily we don't have too many problem spots out there, but they are starting to build already. We're going to take you to Central Mass in Brimfield this morning. We do have a jackknife tractor trailer on the pike heading east. One lane is going to be blocked off there. It's not causing a significant delay because it's just so early in the morning, but still, eventually that could uh, start to build up a bit more. In Sharon, a brand new crash out there on 95 as you're headed northbound right by Main Street. Surrounding areas overall pretty good. Again, no major delays right now. 93, 24, Route 3. Those areas are overall still pretty quiet out there. Kicking things off too on the expressway. It's going to start to get busier as you're headed into the city. One other thing to mention as well, the HOV lane will be closed off today. And then the opposite direction looking just fine. Let's go even farther north now to Pepperell. That's where we find Seven's Rob Way. Rob, how's it looking? Looks like the snow's already coming down. Yeah, the snow's coming down at a pretty good clip right now, Brandon, and it is heavy, wet snow. And again, we were seeing that same thing Juliana was seeing when we were driving here. You hit that line and it switches quickly from rain over to this heavy, wet stuff. But let me show you. I have my handy dandy yard stick out. We've been pulling out a little more this winter. Uh, let's put it in the ground here and we're only about an inch. In this area, we are expecting anywhere from a foot to possibly even 18 inches of snow here in Pepperell. But right now we're at an inch as the snow continues to fall down this morning and we're along Main Street. So let me show you some of the road conditions you might be facing as you head out. We haven't really seen any plows out just yet this morning, so roads are slick. That is something you're going to be want to be extra careful about as you head out the door today. And another thing that is coming with this heavy wet snow, they were talking about power problems and it's because of this. You're going to see this really heavy wet snow and it's just clinging on to tree branches. It's of course going to make a perfect snowball for kids later on today, but it's going to cling on to things like this and cling on to power lines. So that is also something we're going to be watching for later today, but certainly going to be fun for putting together a snowman or <laughs> to having a little snowball fight later on today. We of course will keep you posted everything here in Pepperell. Live in Pepperell, Rob Way, 7 News today in New England. Thanks, Rob. Let's check on conditions in Worcester now with Simmons Marty Salazar. Good morning, Marty. Good morning, Amanda. Right now, the rain is just coming down. It's really uncomfortable, freezing rain. We're expecting it to switch to heavy, wet snow uh, sometime later this morning. We know that there were a couple inches gathered here in Worcester overnight. And we, again, it's raining right now, but it is going to switch to snow right now. We want to show you what the roads are looking like, a little bit slick. And there, we haven't seen a lot of plow trucks, but if we do see anyone treating the roads and you are hitting the roads this morning, just make sure that you're staying out of their way right now uh, this morning. Public schools are closed here in the Worcester area, so the traffic won't be as bad. But just stay home if you can because it's going to be nasty outside. And if you're staying home, that's probably the best idea. We are uh, monitoring power outages here in Worcester. Uh, nothing too bad, but we're going to keep monitoring the area and those power outages for you this morning. We're live from Worcester. Monty Salazar, 7 News, today, New England.
Now, along the coast, the concern is possible power outages from the whipping winds that we're already feeling. Seven Sam Blyweiss is on Plum Island, so north of the city, with conditions there. Sam, good morning. Oh, good morning, Brandon Amanda. I'm sure you can hear it uh, on my mic, and you can see it here as it whips across your screen. The rain is coming down here on Plum Island, and certainly the wind is carrying it off the coastline. What I can tell you right now is it is high tide, so that is the good news. And just from walking in here this morning, you could see, uh, it's hard for you to see right now as it's pitch black, but as the sun comes up, you're going to see the waves are rolling in, but certainly not anything super excessive at this point. So that is the good news. The tide is in our favor this morning low tide this morning right around 11 30 so i can see the water coming off of the uh, beach here and onto the street one of the big concerns here as you could imagine is going to be those high winds the power outages in some of these localized areas and again we're cut off here uh, from a lot of the mainland at this point so the concern this morning, the winds, they have been bolstering uh, the coastline. Of course, the flooding concern here is not the major issue with this storm, but residents here have been prepping just in case. We're going to be keeping an eye on the conditions here. So far this morning, though, rain and the situation here on the ground uh, is that that is going to be the cause for concern this morning. We'll keep you posted from here on Plum Island. For now, I'm live this morning on Plum Island, Sam Flyway, 7 News, today in New England. And our storm force coverage continues this morning. Crews are spread out really across the area here in New England. We're taking a live look in Fitchburg, which is near what we're expecting to see, kind of a jackpot area with this storm. And a live look now in Nahant this morning. You can see snow. It looks like coming down there sideways across the camera lens. So pretty windy out there, JR. Yeah, that's actually rain. We got rain along the coastline, rain in Metro Boston, rain in Worcester. This is an elevation storm right now and that will change later on this morning and more so this afternoon. Also ahead, dramatic video shows a bus slamming into an apartment in Fall River. One student had to be rushed to the hospital and it's all ahead right here on the news station.